Hello everybody and welcome. Thank you so much for joining me as I try to show off the best of modern retro gaming. Cathedral is what we have today and it is a fun Metroidvania style game uh, where you are this little knight guy and you woke up in a strange castle and you are trying to find your way out. We are in the desolate mines underneath Tinkerton and we are trying to figure out the next step. Last episode, we were able to get through the mines and uh, uh, fight a gargoyle, but uh, we weren't unfortunately uh, had enough health to defeat him. Uh, so we're gonna try to get back through the mines, find him again, and hopefully we have enough, enough potions this time. Uh, the only problem is I don't recall the way down uh, So we're gonna have to try to figure that out again real quickly And I also these little ghost guides that came up. I had a problem with them last time and um, It didn't work the way I was hoping I was thinking that maybe their shots would uh... No, I don't ah wow that was bad I was hoping that their shots would bounce off of me, sort of like the wiz robes in Zelda, but uh, that's not the way it turned out to be. So we got a quick death there, but that's okay. We don't have any money. Uh, we didn't have any money, so we didn't lose anything. The tricky thing here is going to be getting past these eyes. And then I think I went the wrong way. I think I go down deeper. This is going to be really hard to get out of. Um, they'll eventually get to me and maybe I'll be able to swipe them. Uh, this is not going well. Run, run. All right, let's go ahead and heal up. And I would believe if I can get down to the guy, uh, it was kind of difficult to get down to him. Uh, but if I can get down to him, I think, I do think that if I have three or four potions, I will be able to defeat him. I, he didn't seem like a very difficult boss. Uh, the part here, as in with most uh, parts in this game so far, um, getting to him was not the, uh, well, the, the tricky part was not him himself, but getting to him. And uh, the board or the level seemed to be much more difficult uh, than the uh, bosses on most accounts. I'm gonna just drop down. Ooh, I found some more treasure. Uh, that's good uh, and bad <laughs> at the same time. Um, treasure is good, but if I get it right before a boss, it probably likely that I am going to lose a, li a lot to the boss. So these ghosts are really just a pain and I hope that we'll be able to yes this is it right here okay here's the boss not too difficult we have uh five potions left so hopefully we'll be able to defeat him poe the phase walker oh crap that did the okay let's go ahead and heal back up he comes in a certain way he'll pop up in the middle after each of these little uh, style attacks and that's when you need to hit him like right there and I've already messed it up So we're gonna have to try hopefully to get through this with The little health we have we still have three potions, but I haven't hit him very much, which is not a good thing Come on Come on down here so I can hit you buddy the uh, double jump and the dash definitely helps out quite a bit on on enemies like him uh, Just to be able to get away every every shot is like Directed at you. So if you can move quickly then the next shot is not lined up in a way that it would make it hard to uh, Dodge them. They're not like two in a row Like these are gonna be difficult yeah, see, kind of trapped myself there, unfortunately. Just because of the way the uh, fireballs came at me. 
We're not doing good with this guy right now. Yeah, see, it's going to be... Well, we got one hit on him. Yay, one hit! We got to be really careful when he does a lot of his... Oh, I got him hit! Okay, got another hit on him, which is good. Ooh! It's gonna, just going to be an e not an easy battle, but... I was thinking he was much easier last time I uh, fought him, but maybe not. Let's see if we can, right there's the time I need to hit him and I can't ever get there in time to do the, the damage. Here we go. Just keep on being patient. I think I can hit him there, too. Come on. When he comes down here, I think... There we go. Come on. Keep doing that, and I could be really happy about that. Just take your time. It's one of the... Ooh! Right into that one. That one was not smart. I was trying to dodge in between them, but that didn't work out. I'm going to have to heal again. Ah. A lot of times you're trapped in his the way he Ah wow. Oh no. Ah! There we go. Just the way the fireballs are going, it makes it a lot harder because they the way they track on you. If he puts himself in a in a just a a specific I don't know if his teleportation there are random or if uh, they're prescribed in a certain way but I, uh, I find them uh, if they get in a certain position it makes it harder to I'm out of health potions that's not good um, that makes it harder to avoid so it's getting so close to them And all we've got to do is get him a well it's gonna be a few more it's it's that one right there that I it's hard to avoid another thing that makes this level a little bit more tricky is the fact that the mini map up there is blank which uh, kind of leads to the whole dark and scary mine uh, it's not too terribly hard to figure out once you know where you need to go and I didn't go the right way but this is the way I need to go. Oh, get away. Uh, but uh, yeah, not knowing that adds a little bit of puzzle or maze-like element to this. Uh, but a little tricky, but not too difficult once you get there. Uh, you can, I did uh, figure out just recently, uh, to use your shield to block the fire. Uh, I will use that sometimes, but I don't think it's going to be uh, really helpful most. There's a couple instances where I'm like, yeah, okay, this is going to help me uh, protect, you know, block the fire and those ones that I trap myself in. But uh, I think most of the time I'm just going to try to avoid them. Like this one. Is it that? Is that going to block it? As long as it hits the shield and not hits my, um, um, the, my head, it, you know, so it hits the shield and not like the top of my head. Uh, there is a little bit of an area above your shield in which it will allow you to hit, but, uh, it, it does block them. It blocks them well. So like, right. There, see, that is a good use of that, and I still can get my hit in. Sweet! It's this one that's tough, because the fireballs come so quickly right after each other. Um, ooh, that was close. I'm gonna try to stay in the middle if I can, because that will allow me to get that quick hit when he phases back into uh, the middle. Yeah, I still got it. Sweet! As long as I can just stay there and ah, got my head. That's one where we're talking about where it was just a little bit over my head. 
and um, it was a little too much just on that perfect angle I actually like him doing that move that diagonal move because it really is not hard to avoid but then always right after that he does the um, that fade in from the top which gives me time to um, jump and hit him I don't want to speak too soon oh shoot got me there I was not ready for that I was trying to get him no and got a little too overexcited about that Ugh. you can we go back and forth between those it's not too hard but once he gets you over into a corner uh, that is not a good thing Kind of stay in the middle when he's doing that if if possible because then you're much much easier to avoid them they're not they didn't get in a way that's lined up so that one comes in right after the other oh i didn't necessarily want to change that but do, do that that's fine i'm 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 okay i'm okay with that Oh, oh, that was a little too close. I almost peered right on my head. I don't know why I keep on accidentally changing that one, but getting a little too excited and hitting my button. No, no. Ah, oh, yeah, got him. Just almost, he almost got me, but I've had enough health there to pull in that uh, quickly throw in that uh, health potion and was able to get him. Yay! Woohoo! Okay, well, let's see what's on be what's beyond. Shoot. Oh, oh, okay. I get to talk to a ghost. Thank you. Have this bargain with death this old bronze amulet reduces the amount of gold you lose on death by one percent sweet okay um well i'm not sure kind of looks like there's a oh there is an i was gonna say that looks kind of like there's another way there uh oh or this okay there must be another please don't go down. Why not? Let's go down. We I don't listen to go do, ghosts. Oh, this might be like their treasure room. They're not going to be very happy about this if I rob their treasure room. I think. There we go. We might. Oh, an augmentation too. What does this do? Uh oh, he's going to be mad at me though. Please, no. Not yours to take important to me. Um, I don't know. What should I do? I'm going to take it. Health bottle cooldown reduced by one second. More augmentations will stack. Sweet. Oh, he's not happy. I wonder if I can kill him now. Okay. Yes, I can kill them. That's pretty cool. I'm really happy about that. Makes that a little bit easier to deal with these people uh, if I can kill them. Uh, if you run by them, you can run by them fairly easily. But the issue there then is that once you are at the end of the world or the end of the section, then you've got a bunch of of these ghosts behind you shooting. Oh, I really wish I went. I really wish I knew that was there. I just noticed that some of them don't come all the way to the bottom. See how this one comes all the the wall line comes all the way to the bottom and then goes across the bottom. This one doesn't. So that shows that there is a wall there or not a wall there. And then this one doesn't even come all the way to the bottom. So a little bit of clues. You have to pay attention carefully to get everything. 
Now, I am not sure if I've been here or not. Ah, uh, yes, there was, I don't remember what it was, but there was something, a key, that's where the key was, I believe, to unlock the gate. Let's, we've got all this. I really would like to just jump back up to town. We went down there. Ouch. I guess I could kill them, but we are going to try to run back to town really quickly so that I could deposit this money. And I want to talk to the guy in charge and wonder if um, killing that guy makes any difference in what needs to be done or if that was what I needed to clear out the mine or, you know, whatever, because that may change uh, something. It's going to be a little bit more difficult to get up here. I do. Oh. That's not. Didn't get the double jump in there quick enough. There we go. Oh, that's not the right. Ugh. Actually, I think it's. Ouch. I come down. Yeah, from right there. Okay. Ah, shoot. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Oh, these I'm not killing. That's not good. Ah. Well, that, no, that won't take me back to town. I hate when I die. No, Ugh. I hate that so badly when I die, and especially when I have enough health. I should have thrown another health potion in there. These guys are going to be. I really wish I had something that killed these people because that's very frustrating to get into this place and not have any way to kill an enemy. Probably one of the most frustrating things in game, in my opinion. Um, no, I still need quite a bit. I think I need like 10,000 or something like that to get the next armor, which is going to be uh, quite a bit still. Crap, I need to go. Oh, no, don't want to fall down there. Shoot! I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die again, and I don't like it. Come on. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Yep, I'm gonna die again. There's no way I can get through this. Just kill me now. See, this is where it's a little bit frustrating because I've got all that money and all I have to do is get back to the... I have something. What is this thing that takes me back to... I think that will take me back to that checkpoint there that I was just at. I don't think it'll take me back up to town. Yeah. That's what I thought it would do. It's exactly what I expected it to do. And... If I can stop missing these jumps, it would be a very, very helpful. I, I I bet I would have had the money if I wouldn't have lost it from death. That's the frustrating thing. Is that, uh, I, I mean, I guess I like that you just start over, but losing the money uh, does make the game, it does make the gameplay on a whole harder because you are, uh, you have to play more or grind more or something like that in order to get the, the items that you need because, you know, you, you know, you'll be without that item for a while because, uh, you, you know, you don't, you didn't have the money to uh, pay for it. 
which is unfortunate. I lost like 300 gold there, which I mean, in those, in, the, in trying to come up, and you may not think that's a lot, but over, you know, a lot of times over the whole game, you know, I probably lost at least 10,000 gold. We also have to figure out what those, the numbers mean. Uh, we have those two room numeral ones. I know where they go and what they do. Well, I know where they go and I think I know what they do. Um, but I don't have all four numbers. And that's the trick here is getting all four numbers to be able to open that. So bank. Yeah, so we'll need another 8,000. It looks like to get this thing here. Which is sometimes hard to get by. Get you just gotta slowly gather it up, and that's frustrating. And uh, again, another difficult thing with the um, losing the money, I have to pay more to be able to put more in the bank, and that's a little. I mean, not frustrating, but the idea that this door here, there should be a door here. It shows me there's a door here. I cannot get to the door that's here. And I do not know why. And it's a little... Can I, can I get... Maybe... The door is here? Why is this there? I find that odd. Was there something I may have... There may have been something there that I found... Earlier, but... Let's go see if there's anything on this... Oh... A uh, gem, but still there should be I feel the door right there and Here it remains the legion battle the dragon king hmm I bet you I'll be able to get in there at some point. We just gotta be patient and Find the uh, right time to go in Is it this one I don't one of these has like two large Roman numerals in them. And I wish I could find the other two uh, Roman numerals. And unfortunately I can't yet. This is the guy that's in charge right here. And hopefully he will give me some kind of information uh, now that I've defeated that guy. Please make sure my daughter is okay. Now shoot, hmm. Let's check. Um, find the orbs, book club, uh, yeah, dwarves uncovered an ancient secret in the mines. What could it be? Ticket of dwarves need to prove yourself worthy of their help. Speak to these, speak to the town to see who needs help. And then desolate mines, make way through this, find Rannoch. I have not found Rannoch yet. Okay, so there are some things... Oh, I'm inside. Pfft. That doesn't help me. I'm just jumping against the wall. So we do have to find Raynaut in the mines. Um, hmm. I thought we have found everything that we needed to in the mines. Well, I guess we are going to continue our mine exploration. It bothers me that I know that there's something over to the left there and I can't get to it. I just, I have to be given the other two Roman numerals. It's going to take too much to try to guess them. I mean, there's four numbers. I have two of them. So it's going to be a little bit difficult to figure out the other two. Ah. I should go back up and, and deposit that thousand gold. One of the things that you need to realize when you're playing a game is know yourself. And I ran up real quick to uh, deposit that uh, that thousand gold because I knew if I didn't, I would die down in here enough that I would just lose that thousand gold. So that <laughs> that is very important to kind of know um, yourself and how you play and that sort of thing so that you are able to uh you know do things like that and just recognize that and then like you know what i just need to do this because uh i'm gonna lose it if i don't 
So we went up, and I believe that is just a key, but I can't. Is he gonna, you know the deal with these by now, right? I gotta find the key. Ah, uh, that wasn't very fair, I don't believe. I was talking to my ghost friend and you just come and shoot me in the back like that? And there was nothing over here. Okay. Um, okay, that is solid. I'm gonna make sure, kinda make sure that I am not missing anything here. Anything? Nope. And there was just that jump over and the, yep. Okay. I just want to make sure that, you know, these, this is a game. It seems like where there's little hidden things everywhere and you've just got to be aware of them uh, or, you know, aware that you've got these little hidden things everywhere and you just got to keep your eyes open for things like that. Ouch. These are extremely frustrating ghosts. That was the first gate down. I believe this was just a treasure room, right? Yep, okay. or uh, not a treasure room, that book room. So let's go down. We're gonna explore this fairly methodically. Ouch. And see if there's, oh, whoops. That's not what I wanna do. I bet you anything there is something up there in that corner. But let's try down. So we, the top level doesn't have anything. We went down. Um, on the right, let's see if there's anything over. These guys are extremely annoying. There is something up there. Now, can I make it a different way or not? Um, I don't know. I found some more treasure. Woohoo! That's, that's good. I mean, it's not a whole lot, but it's something. Okay, both of those go under. Oh, God. <sighs> Trying really hard to avoid him, and I'm finding it very difficult. I bet you if I get the up if I can get back up there without dying oh new mini oh. <clears throat> okay let's take the elevator back down and see if we could do this again uh, I don't I think there is a spot up there in which we can float across is what I'm thinking if I stay at the top up here and then use this, I do believe that there is. Yeah, there we go. I don't know if it's going to do anything or get me anywhere special, but we're are there. Oh, we get another augmentation. Sweet. Okay. I feel that we've gotten that, but maybe not. Maybe that's the one I need to pay for up there. But that's back down there. There was nothing stupid, stupid ghost. Oh yeah, that was the treasure room down there. That's Ed. I don't, I want to land on that platform. That's what I wanted to do. That's what I was hoping to do. There is a lot of treasure down here. I guess it's a dwarven mine. So that's why they got all the treasure is there. Here's going to be a trick. Another. I wonder if there is going to be something over here. Nope. Doesn't appear to be. I want to. Oh. I am going to try to. Look at those. Oh. Come on. 
I want to go up this way before I go back the other way. Hopefully, we'll be able to survive enough to get what I want to do. There we go. Trying to go down methodically and see each area, but I'm dying quite a lot, which is not good. No, well, let's see what this book has to say. I can't believe it. Olaf attacked Nils. They used to be close friends. Yeah, something has overtaken the dwarves uh, or possessed them, and that's what these books are about. On top of that, a few of the men have been acting very odd. They are mistrusting each other, and a few fights have broken out. All of this for no apparent reason. The whole, ju the whole thing just makes me wonder if it's worth it. Overseer Jarl is headed further down the shaft now. He wanted to speak with the remaining men. Why did this happen? Apparently, it's happening here in the East Shaft only. I blame the people in the West Mine Shaft. It seems to have started at the same time that they opened the vault. Why us? It makes me so angry. Sometimes I wish this entire cave would just collapse. Actually, I wish the West Mine Shaft West Mine Shaft would collapse. That would show them. Engineer Carlson. Carlston. Well, Engineer, I bet you could make that happen too if you really wanted to. Okay. Anything over here? Nope. Okay, we're not going to go down the shaft yet because I'm going to assume that this is going to lead us to something important. Or maybe just some more treasure, which is fine for me. Fine with me. More treasure, it looks like. Ah, she freaking goes. I'm not going to have enough. Um, is there two of them? I feel that there's two of them here. Yep. If I can... Not one of them out. I might be able to get past the next one. Oh, shoot. Well, we've got another 2,000 gold, but we're going to probably lose it all. I am not going to hit any of the... Ah, shoot. One of these freaking bricks. I'm getting really, really frustrated with those bricks. Well, let's go down and see if we can explore any more. We all... We are all out of potions. I feel the East Mine Shaft is the right way to go. But getting through here and being able to... Oh, we felt... Whoa. We felt really... Oh, wait. Okay. Nothing. Am I gonna... Is... Do I need my ghost? To get something? The key? Yep. Oh, shoot. Can I get him to come down here anymore? Nope. Oh, yeah. So close. I feel that was something there. Well, I think that's going to be the end of, of the episode for today. Unfortunately, we did not get... we. Well, we were able to defeat the, that um, Gargoyle, which is good. Uh, we were able to get some more money, which is good. We uh, think there's something in the east shaft. I think I was also really close to it. So we got to go back down the east shaft and try to figure uh, that out and see what we can do about getting that taken care of. And hopefully we'll get these freaking ghosts to stop shooting at us. That would make me really, really happier. Uh, we're less than 5,000 off from this. Boost your defense by plus four. Okay. I reduce gold by 1% and then 75% chance to avoid being frozen by enemies. Okay. So that's not too bad. Um, I will probably end up getting that, but I definitely want uh, this uh, first. So uh, I think that's going to be the end of the episode. We're going to go down the east mine shaft again and see if we're getting close to where we closer to where we need to go which is really good um like i said before these are the two numbers that we need and 
we cannot find any more of the two numbers and nothing seems to be doing any wonder if it's in this book today we found an old stone arch in one of the mine shafts i don't know what its uses are but it is humming with spirit magic we voted to board it up and protect it with a secret password for now in order to remember the culmination i left some clues the first one could be in, found in the master Svinton's house master Svinton's house i don't recall where master Svinton is um are these just yeah let's see that gave me a little bit of information on that let's real quickly see if we can go up and find out which one of these houses is master Svinton's house there we go I really like my skull clip. How many do I own? Check Mayor Borgchild's house next. So one, two, three, four, five, six. He has six skulls in there. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, okay, let's see if we can find the mayor's house. Master Olaf's. So, so we got two ones, a six, and now we need to find. Starts with a B. I don't remember what it was. Nope, that's not it. Come on, where is it? Nope, no. Nope. Oh, where is it then? Hmm. That was not it. That was Master Svintons with that six skulls. That was definitely useful and a good find. That's what is this one? Oh, that's a welcome to Tinker Den sign. Whose house? Brant. I feel that I'm missing something here. Like I'm missing another house. What is... Oh, oh, there we go. Six. Let's see, we have half of the dragon statues on display at the shrine. The other ones are in storage. How many do we have? Check Master Elof's house next. So we got six at the shrine which is this way i know where that is here there's two so there's four so six four and then elof's is this elof's house nope i feel elof's was up Is Elof's house? Elof's, okay. So six, four, and now what is this? Check Master Brent's house again when you're done here. What is he? Oh, one, two, three, four. Test pieces, five, six, seven, eight. Six, four, eight, and then Brent? Brant. Six, four, eight. And which one's Brant? I think it was this one here, wasn't it? Six, four, eight. Six, four, eight, and then two? Maybe? I was thinking that those were individual, but what if you add them together? Let's try it real quick. It was this way. So, if I counted correctly, I may not have counted correctly. So, 
We got six. That's four, five, six. Four. Eight and two. Ah, -ha -ha, yes. What's in here? I don't even know what's in here. Oh, it's the teleporter thing. Oh, okay. I don't think I need to go anywhere, but that's kind of cool. Okay, I thought there would be much, much more interesting a thing in there, but that does help me if I need to jump around. How many more places do I have to teleport to? Uh, um, four. Okay, interesting. There's definitely four more areas that we need to uncover. Okay, well, that was fun. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. We'll tackle East Mine again in the next episode, and I will see you next time. Bye, everybody.